look at the import data function. This function is unique to Google Sheets. It's very simple to use and it's very effective. The function takes in one parameter, the URL pointing to the file that you want to import. The import data file will import two types of files, a .csv file or a .tsv file. CSV stands for comma separated values. TSV stands for tab separated values. It doesn't matter which file you try to import. The process is exactly the same. I'm looking at this website that has historical share prices. And at the bottom of the web page, there is a link to download the data into a spreadsheet. And if I hover over the link, I can see at the bottom of the browser window that the file is a .csv file. So I can use this information to import file. So I'm going to right click on this link and select copy link address. And I'm going to my spreadsheet. At this point, I should point out that this is the currently the old style of Google Sheets. At the time of making this video, the import data function does not yet work in the new version of the spreadsheets, but I'm sure that will change shortly. So I'm going to paste my link here in cell B1, and then I'm going to put my formula here. So equals import data and go up to the link for the URL and close bracket. So as you can see, the formula is very, very basic. I'm gonna press return and see what data is imported. This may take a minute or two because there's a lot of data contained in this file. And there we have it. And I can scroll down and the file, the data is continuing to be, to be loaded over 4,000 rows of data. So very handy and much more reliable than copying or pasting. Similarly, I can look at an alternative and I've sourced a link to a TSV file. It's exactly the same process. So I'm going to type in equals import data link to the URL and close bracket and press return. And there we could see that the file is much smaller and it loads a lot quicker. That's all there is to using import data. Good luck with it. Thank you for watching.